We're here at iGel Disrupt in Austin, Texas, and we're speaking with CryptoVision. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your company and how you fit in with iGel? Yeah, my name is Brian Kowal. I'm responsible for the business of CryptoVision here in the Americas for both North and South America. CryptoVision is a German-based company formed in 1999. It was a spin-off from the University of Essen. Uh, they specialized in what's called elliptic curve cryptography. Uh, there may be another type of cryptography you may have heard of called RSA cryptography. So elliptic curve cryptography, RSA cryptography, just different fancy names for special types of cryptography. Um, but uh, from the University of Essen, uh, this group started developing cryptography that initially was little libraries in the chips of automobiles to protect the transmission of the electric circuits when you push the brakes mm -hmm. to be able to go down and tell the car to stop. Uh, because right now most automobiles are now electronically run as opposed to you know, physically. Uh, from there, CryptoVision has evolved into more of an um, electronic identity business, being able to prove who a person is electronically. So around the world, there is this digital transformation uh, moving from analog into more digital resources and digital services, um, both from an enterprise viewpoint as well as from a government viewpoint. With respect to that, you now need to add an additional layer of trust of who is accessing those resources, who is getting the services that are delivered electronically. And to do so, you need strong authentication. Username and passwords are okay and easy to do, However, as we've been seeing in the news over and over again, username and passwords are being hacked and great big massive right. data loss is happening. So with respect to this, one of the things that's happening is corporations as well as governments, um, from a corporation you might have an ID badge that gets you into the building. Well, if you add a chip to that ID badge, then you can um, take that same card that gets you into the building and if you have a iGel thin client that has a smart card reader, or if you don't have a smart reader, you could get a traditional USB device. You slide in the card, and just like you get cash from an ATM, you type in a PIN to authenticate to the card. The card then presents credentials that identifies who you are that are much, much stronger than a username password, and oh. thus creating a higher level of trust. The US federal government all the federal employees now have a ID card called a PIV card and are using this right now in the United States. All US military personnel have a similar type of card called a common access card, again, for all the military personnel because they realize that the level of trust that they need to, for those services. Around the world, national ID cards, e-driver's licenses, e-healthcare cards are also now leveraging the same thing. So places like Ecuador, Nigeria, Ghana, um, Estonia, mm -hmm. Germany are all now using these types of cards. Um, and one great use case for these types of cards from a healthcare perspective is this chip, besides proving your identity, could hold a little bit of your medical records stored in there. Now, if you're concerned mm -hmm. about privacy and you're concerned about your health records being stored in some sort of device like this, one thing that CryptoVision specializes in is using standards based security to be able to make sure that the information stays on the chip and is only accessed by those entities that need to be able to see that information. Hmm. Interesting. So what I'd like to do also is just go ahead and talk about the IGEL relationship. Great. CryptoVision has had a long history with um, IGEL. Um, IGEL being a German company, CryptoVision also, as I was sharing, is a German company. So in Europe, we have a lot of uh, success stories already. In the insurance industry, uh, there's over 6,000 users of um, a few different insurance companies mm -hmm. that are using the smart card to be able to log on to their systems uh, for what's you know, called thin client authentication. And then also they are able to sign their email uh, so that people know that the email that they sent truly is from the person that sent it. Um, and the main drivers for that was for security, but also for audit purposes. Same thing in the retail industry, that um, where these are being used for point-of-sale devices, but also needing the strong authentication into the back-end infrastructure. And then utilities, uh, there's a very, very large um, power company um, that has uh, started to deploy this. And again, they need this for security, for web logon, for email signing, and this uh, again is for the um, security and audit. And so what's nice about this, again, is that IGEL 
by default already supports smart card authentication and the uh, software that CryptoVision has developed. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with uh, VM Blog, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your show. My pleasure. Thank you very much.